Welcome to my art studio. Today I will be demonstrating tips on how to paint a white egret in the marsh in soft pastels. Please follow along and watch to the end to see how it all comes together. Thank you. I am using UART 600 grit sanded paper for this demonstration. Once I have finished outlining the egret, I will begin blocking in the background of the entire paper with a uh, dark green and some dark blue, and then use an alcohol wash to blend my pastel pigments together. If you had a dark pastel paper, you could probably avoid doing this step using the alcohol wash. But I'm using a neutral color paper and I needed a very dark background so this process works very well for me. Once I have blended some of the background water, I will begin uh, blocking in some areas with my white pastel pencil uh, where the tall grasses are in the marsh. At this point I will be just blocking in the tall grasses and not adding too much detail or highlights to the grasses at this point. The egret is standing on a mound within the marsh, so I'll add some marsh grasses and the details of the egret's foot. I am adding some dark shading to the left side of the tall grasses. The sunlight is coming from the right side, so the lighter highlights will be added on the right side. Now that the grasses have been defined, I'm going to slow down the video and focus more closely on the egret. I will start working on the egret's head and beak area. I will be using a, a dark uh, greenish blue beneath the eye and at the top of the bill of the bird and gradually blend shades of yellows and light greens to define uh, the details of the beak. I enjoy working from my tablet and you can follow along as I uh, develop the shading of the egret.
I am using a combination of light grays and light blue to shade the body of the egret. I only use the whitest white as the top layer or final highlights being applied to the feathers of the bird. You will need a sharp point for these fine details. I'm using a very small piece of light pastel gray. I don't let any pastel sticks go to waste. I save all the small little pieces that break off and keep them separated and eventually use them the best I can. I am starting to block in some of the areas of the feathers that will have darker shading. There is a light shadow over the back side of the bird's wings, so I'm using light blue for those light shadowed areas. Now I will use a darker shade of blue rather than using gray to define the, the surface of the bird's wings. I will blend the area lightly with my fingers and, and now I will focus on the, the foot that is tucked up underneath the egret's wing. He has it curled up underneath, and I want to focus on that before I, I finish the final details of the feathers. I will also shade in the, the leg and foot that he is standing on. I've decided to add some dark blue to the background water. I think this will blend nicely and even though I rub over the tall grasses they are still visible and I can um, touch them up and add uh, some of the detail to the grasses again. So from here, I will be adding the final touches to the painting, a little more detail to the water, and complete the, the details and shadows to the grasses.
I've zoomed up a little bit here to add some of the highlights and a little more color to the tall grasses. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and please press like and subscribe. I would love to hear your comments and let me know what other lessons you might like to see in the future. Thank you.